Hi, this is Topper from App Design Vault. All right, so Apple just launched the new iPad Pro and with it comes iOS 9. And the cool thing about iOS 9 is that you can have the new split view or the, the super, sorry, the slide in view, a slide overview or the split view. It's time to actually take a look at your app and to make sure that your app displays correctly on all different screen configurations. So here we have a simulator running the iPad quiz template, which is one of our templates on App Design Vault. And then if I drag over here, I can pull up Safari in this case on the sidebar, right? And then if I click on the on this, so now we have a split view with our app showing up down here on the left hand side and then Safari on the right hand side. And it's also possible to drag also, I mean, you can have it in a you know, 50 50 split half split view. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but then in the compact view, the next button here shows up at the bottom. And then if I drag it to the side, the next button shows up at the side. And this is a regular view. This is actually the iPad configuration. And then you can also already tilt the device and then everything works out correctly. So you can see the, the app is running um, auto layout. But then there are other things which you need to do to make sure that your app needs to enable multitasking in your in your project. So the first thing you're going to have to do, if you go to Xcode, the first thing you're going to have to do is to make sure that you build with the iOS 9 SDK. So that's here. Select iOS 9 for that. And then you can still target um, earlier OSs by changing the deployment target here. So we have a deployment target at 8.4 in this case. And then the second step you need to um, set up is to make sure that your iPad configuration supports all device orientations. That's all the four that you see down here. The iPhone the, the iPhone setup can still be, in our case, it's just only the portrait. But then the, for the iPad, that needs to be in all cases. And then, the, and then one more thing to set up is to make sure that you use a launch screen file. So the launch screen file here was introduced in iOS 8. Um, this actually helps you to get a good um, launch screen for your app in all device configurations and can use auto layout for that. Which brings me to the last step, your app must needs to implement auto layout because that's where, that's how Apple knows how to configure your screens. So you can see here our app actually is set up with auto layout, you can see the constraints here. And then the user interface shrinks and grows depending on whatever screen configuration we have. All right, so th those are the four steps which you need to take to make sure your app is set up for multitasking. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below the video. Thank you very much.